Hello, welcome to part 4. Here I'm using a torque 60 to loosen the tensioner so that I can remove the serpentine belt. It is a continental aftermarket part. What I am using to loosen the bolts from the water pump pulley is not a 10mm Allen key as shown in the video, but it's a M8 12 point spline key. The life of a tool in a workshop is not safe. At any moment it can take an end. Following up, if one tool does perish, we try to make it reusable as repairing it with one another. So, this is how the M8 spline key got engaged in a 10mm Allen socket. For removing the water pump, I am taking a Torx 30. Even though I drained the cooling system at the beginning of this job, there is still some coolant left in the engine block. That's why it is now leaking out. The M10 spline key is needed to unbolt the crankshaft pulley. Even though I've changed this crankshaft pulley about a year ago, it's still not easy to take it off. For removing the belt tensioner, I'm using a M12 12.5 inch. Following up for the next pulleys, I'm using M8 and M10 12 point spline keys.
In between, there are also a few plugs that need to be removed from different sensors. Torx 30 is needed to unbolt the oil filter housing. I have only loosened this coolant pipe just enough to get the oil filter housing away from the engine lock. You might not see, but this pipe is going all the way to the back of the engine and there are a few bolts that are not so easy to get removed because aluminium intake pipes are in front of them and they do also need to get removed to have access to the bolt for the actual cooling pipe. I need to clean a little bit the front of the engine so that I can see the bolts which are holding the actual front cover that I have to remove. More washing and cleaning will come later. I am starting to unscrew the bolts from the cover with a torque 30 feet.
if I remember correctly, there are about 22 bolts holding this cover. And here is our winner, one bolt snapped, someone torqued it too much, maybe. The bang was the result from the broken bolt that was putting some tension on the cover as I was taking it off. Now it's for the tricky job. I have to remove the broken bolt from the engine block. Luckily for me, it came off very easy, if I might say so. Here we have a close-up of the engine without the front cover. After some cleaning and brushing and washing, it looks more user-friendly. In the next video, I will be showing you what parts are needed to reassemble this car and to finish this job.